Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. It is a beautifully gray and gloomy day. My favorite kind of day. This It is a Saturday and it is officially sweater weather. I'm hoping that the sunshine returns but still in that very cool chilly way. I have my favorite Scooby-Doo sweater on because it's sweater weather and I have some new makeup and I thought it would be fun to film a video of almost in, almost first impressions of some new makeup that I have. Uh, so that's what we're going to do and I'm going to actually get started with my eyes today because I have a new palette. The last thing I need is another new palette. But I actually just really just could not say no to this one. I feel like it it just is so beautiful. So I saw this. I don't even follow ColourPop on Instagram anymore, but I saw somebody post about this and I hadn't heard about the palette yet. And it is the Troublemaker uh, pal palette. <laughs> the Troublemaker palette. It's one of their newer releases and that I was confused because I was like, oh my gosh, I've never heard of this palette before. Um, and go figure, it's new. Uh, and it looks like this. It is cool toned, 90s grunge. Oh my gosh, it seriously, it makes me so happy. I, I did wear it once, so it's not a first impression, um, but I used truly that color and <laughs> that color only as like a crease shade for a very simple makeup look that I did for work. Uh, it's the only shade that I used in the palette. I've swatched the shimmers and everything, but I have not actually worn this palette to its fullest potential, so we will do that today. That's why I said not quite a first impression. Um, and I did also buy two new lippies through ColourPop. This one was part of the Good Trouble, Good Trouble, uh, Troublemaker launch and this is a luxe velvet lippy in the shade series no it's not <laughs> that it was seriously um it's called little rubble and i did wear this the other day it's beautiful it's like a really it's like a blackened plum i think is how they uh, described it it's like kind of like purpley reddish very dark very vampy i love it and then this is a lip cream lip creme and called call it quits and I'm not gonna lie, when I got this, I was very surprised with how warm toned it was. And it's because the picture that I saw online had a filter on it and it was it looked a lot more cool toned. So not quite what I wanted. And I feel very deceived that they put a filter on their um, pictures online. But like once you clicked on it, it like showed the actual thing. So I think it was just like, I don't even know. Like I get what they were doing, but I'm also like, I thought that was a way cooler toned lippy. So it's a nice pretty brown, swatched it. Um, and then fun story, the Sephora and JCPenney's, I believe everywhere are no more. They are closing, they're pulling out of JCPenney's, it's no longer a thing. That is the only Sephora that I had in my town and it wasn't good. I actually hated that Sephora. They never had anything I wanted, which now knowing that they were closing down makes a lot of sense. They just weren't getting shipments in. Um, had the worst customer service, which I really hate. Uh, I'm real big on customer service in general. So they had very bad customer service. Never had anything that I wanted or needed. Um, so I'm not really feeling its loss. I didn't really care about it, but everything was like 50% off. So I, and it was very picked over. I feel very lucky with finding things that I, that worked for me. So I got this Anastasia Luminous Foundation, OG. Like, I feel like this is many years old at this point, but I remember my favorite YouTuber, Nicole Cutler, this was like her favorite foundation. I fear that it might be too light for me. The shade is 100, the shade is 100 in. So we're gonna see, I have not tried this. I, I don't know what it looks like. I just tried it, you know, I think it was $12. I think I paid $12 for this. So even if it doesn't work, maybe I'll buy like the Mixing Picnic 
mi mixing pigments to add color to it. And then they also had um, some Inky List products. So I repurchased the salicylic cleanser, um, salicylic acid cleanser. I really like this cleanser. I use it all the time so I can get 50% off on it. I sure did. And then I got this retinol. Which I think this is a 1% retinol. Does it say? But it's a little link. Also 50% off. I think I paid like $9 for this. I don't really know. I honestly wasn't really looking at prices. They said 50% off and I was I was I was there. Yes, this is a 1% Redistar stabilized retinol compound with 0.5% gram active retinoid squalane to help hydrate and protect the skin and a slow release formula to help avoid irritation. I'm using a Youth to the People retinol right now, and I love it. Don't judge it by the state of my skin at the moment. I haven't been using it uh, because I, I don't blame it for this. I damaged my skin barrier somehow, so I've stopped my skin cycling. I try to do skin cycling, so I stopped all my acids. I stopped all of the active treatments, all of my retinol, and I've just been using moisturizer and oil to help strengthen my skin barrier and then I also ate ice cream which is what like all this is these are just like really bad breakouts where it's fine it's fine um so once my youth to the people is gone I'll start putting this one on start using this one and see how it goes and then the last thing I got was the Sephora size up volume extra mascara which again 50% off. I was like, why not? I'll try a new mascara. And I have tried this. Not a first impression. I actually really like it. I kind of wish I had gotten two. So th that's the gist. I wasn't really going to break it all down to you like that. And I should have like put my primer. Oh, I'm going to do eyes first. So I'm going to prime my eyes. And then we're going to make a look. I want to make, obviously it's cool tone, but I want to make like a hella grungy look. That's my plan. I'm going to do a hella grungy, 90s inspired look. And I don't know which lippy I'm going to wear. It will depend on how the look turns out. But I think either of the new lippies that I got could work. So going in with my Milani eye primer as always. And then also while that sets, I did my skincare a while ago. I've, it's a Saturday. I've been kind of like milling about, relaxing. And just felt compelled to do makeup so like I don't know I didn't reapply any skincare so I'm gonna use the dregs of my wet n wild um, hydrating primer serum and let that kind of like hopefully rehydrate and revitalize my skin so when I go in with that foundation and give it its best shot okay on to the good stuff I'm probably going to start with that shade, that brown shade, um, called Sus. It's funny because this is very like 90s grunge, but super like Gen Z language, villain era, Sus, zero Fs, baddie, villain era, like, I don't know. I think it's kind of funny. So, but I am going to go in with... Actually, I'm going to go in f with Fry Night. Fry Night? I'm guessing like Friday Night? I don't know. <laughs> I'm too old for this. I'm too old for the Gen Z um, things. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. Whoop. Hello. Hello. Okay. And I have no plan. I have no direction in where I'm going with this. I'm being very drawn to the plummy colors but you best believe it's gonna be smoky it's gonna be grungy so this was the first this was the first color pop order that i have made in over two years, I think two and a half years, or actually no, I think it was almost exactly two years. I think I made a ColourPop order in October of 2020. 
and that was the last time I did. And I think it's because they were having a sale, um, not a sale, well, yeah, a sale, of a bunch of things that they were discontinuing. I was like, final call, right? So I took advantage and I got some lippies that are some of my favorites. One of them is called Femme, which is a great grungy color. Uh, Tulips, another good one. Um, there's the only two off the top of my head. I think I got another So Quiche Super Shock Shadow, because that one's beautiful. So I like took advantage of the last call for some of these favorite items. I really like this color. It's just like um, a mid-tone, cool-toned kind of taupey, but not. I can't think of the color. But I just like it. I feel like that's a I, that could be a great one and done. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush now, slightly smaller, and I'm gonna go in with zero F's. This one right here. But yeah, it has been a long time since I purchased from ColourPop. A lot of things have not appealed to me. Um, I stopped following them a long time ago because just the, the constant releases, a new launch every week was just very overwhelming. And I was just never impressed by them, never enticed by them. So I was just like, I don't even want to see this. So I stopped following them. And every now and then I'll catch them. Like when the Harry Potter stuff came out, um, I looked at it and then I moved on. Um, so in, in the camera, there's kind of a difference, but this is like actually not much different than the first shade, slightly more purple. It's not building up very well. well um, but yeah, just not, not, not been on my radar, ColourPop has. And I don't know if that's because I've just matured. And I do, I think ColourPop is great for like beginners and people who are new to makeup. It's, I find it to be very affordable um, and good quality. You know what I mean? Like they, they're very consistent in their formulas. And I think for people who are just getting into makeup, this brush, just getting into makeup, um, it's great. It's a very good brand to start with. But I am not a beginner, and I also have a lot in my collection. So I think that's why they don't appeal to me as much anymore. They recycle a lot of their shadows and palettes, so like you'll see a lot of repeats, and if you have a lot of their palettes already, then you already have all the shades that you need. <laughs> like, there's just not a lot of innovation in their palettes. So, once you have a few, and, and I've, I've actually decluttered a lot of my ColourPop stuff. So I only have a very, I have very few. I think I have one, two, three palettes from ColourPop, including this one, Good Sport, Stone Cold Fox, and Gather Round. I think those are my only ColourPop ones left. I have the It's My Pleasure palette, but it's been like depotted and there's like only a handful of shades in there. It's neither here nor there. I'm gonna go in with this color Cold Hearted, which has a shimmer to it, but I don't hate that. Oh, could you see that in the, it's like a purple, pink, black. And we're just gonna deepen up that Oh, I think it might look kind of inky. Deepen up that um, outer third. So, first impression of this thus far. Not that impressed with those first two shades. Like, I kind of wish they had a little more pizzazz to them. But that's okay. You only need to use one, not both because I feel like they did not help each other out and they just look the same, nothing complimented. <laughs> they are just the same. You could just build up that second color a little bit more without having to fuss with the first one. But I do like this little black shade and all the shimmer is gone, so it's just a black. <laughs> I 
That's really funny. All the shimmers. There's not a shimmer on there. This is a complete matte look so far. But there's just a ton of shimmer in the pan. It's like magic. It's like a magic trick. We'll take that in after the base is on. I wasn't sure what fallout would look like in this, so that is why I did not go in with it to begin with. I'm going to go back into that second shade, Zero Fs. Just kind of reinvigorate. There's no point in using that first one, because again, they are the same. Same payoff. Less build up with this one. Getting dark, getting grungy. That's actually really pretty. Just by itself, if I had like kind of built the inner corner out with that zero F shade with the black, that'd be nice. Okay, but so I kind of want to go in with either kick ass, but also not. I'm really leaning toward real. This kind of like duo chromey. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in with our fingers. It's my favorite kind of blue, brown, duo chromey. It's my favorite. Like, I already know I love this. Yeah. I think it complements that purple kind of shade. I wish there was a little bit more payoff, color payoff, like brightness, I guess. But I like the dark. I just wish it was a little bit brighter. I might go in with a brush in a second. It's like a wet brush. But this is my favorite. This is my favorite color. It's not what attracted me to the palette, though, I will say. I wasn't like, ooh, another blue-brown duochrome. I must have this. Um, I just liked the color story. And because ColourPop repeats so much, very seldom, Am I like, oh wow, that's an interesting color story. Usually it's like, wow, that's the same palette that they've put out three or four times now. So, um, we'll go back in with that little, just again, define it a little bit more. This is essentially, this look that I'm doing is the formula that I use for all of my looks basically, which is the, you know, dark outer, you got your transition and then a shimmer. So that's not surprising, but. Oopsie. Concealer shade. Baba boom. Nope, not really. I think it's a cool look though. I'm digging the look. Okay, it did help a little bit. I see a little bit more of that blue coming through. It's just pow, it's not cut pow, right? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Okay. We're gonna leave that for now. And we're obviously gonna go in with a wing later. But let's do the base now. I'm gonna go is that back out a little bit. Ooh, just a little bit. And I'm gonna use this, my NYX Bear With Me. It is almost gone. It doesn't look like anything because it's a jelly one and it's always looked like nothing. But it's bottom of the barrel, bro. Like, there is not much. For my concealer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Um, 
I've been going in lately with like a, the Glotion, my Glotion, or the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector. Um, something just like, you know, pretty to put underneath, but because my skin is so bad, I'm trying not to like highlight the bad things, uh, which sometimes the shimmer does. It just draws attention to the blemishes. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep it matte, and because this is supposedly a luminous foundation, maybe I won't need it. Let's just give it a go as is before trying to, you know, amp it up with anything else. But, excuse me, go over these. Brighten it up a little bit. It's the hardest part, once I start concealing the redness, everything looks red. I do wanna let it sit for a minute just to help aid in coverage because I need a lot. Need a lot of coverage today. But yeah, um, I heard about the Sephora's closing and I was just like, let me go see what this is about and see if there's anything good. I, I had I had no hopes. I didn't think I was gonna like find any steals or anything like that because honestly, that Sephora was always, they just never had anything that I liked. The They had such limited brands and if they did have a brand, that I liked, it was always just a few things. So it was just very hit or miss. And then I don't know how long that they had been going out of business or having their final sales and stuff, uh, but I, it was picked over. They had some Fenty stuff and I would love to have picked up another Fenty foundation because it's one of my faves, um, but they did not have my shade, not even close to my shade. Um, I wish I had gotten some rare beauty stuff, um, but again, just nothing was my shade. They didn't have anything, no blushes, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, so I made do with what I had, especially since I need it. There was no need for me to actually purchase anything, um, but it's like adopting a dog or like going to, oh my gosh, that looks very white. Looks like a mask. Woo! Um, I hope that works, looks better. Um, it's like going to go to a shelter and not adopt a dog, right? You're going to leave with an animal. <laughs> it's like fostering a dog. You're going to adopt that animal. So, I don't know how much to use. Oh, well, looks like probably putting more in my hand than I need to. That was two pumps. The shade actually looks nice. I thought... It looked pretty light in the bottle, but it looks okay. It's It said 100N, so I'm guessing a neutral color, which I always try to do neutrals because I feel like warm is always too warm, cool is always too cool, regardless of what my actual undertones are. <laughs> so, it might be okay. It might be that concealer was just too light. That might have been a bad idea. What color is that? Light peach? Where'd that even come from? Oh, it feels really light on the camera. It looks really bad on camera, I think. It doesn't look that much better in person, but... I don't think I'm that white. Mm. We're gonna have to trust the process with the bronzer and contour. Put some shape back into this because I look just like a flat. I don't have my glasses on. Maybe it's just not. Maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I'm not starting over. It is what it is. It looks better with my glasses on. Looks worse with them off. <laughs> um, looking in this mirror that you can't see but I can, it does look a little light but it also doesn't look awful. It looks decent. And I think with um, 
some bronzer, a concealer blush, again, to add dimension back in my face, I think we might be okay. And this blemish right here will not cover. That's okay. Hmm. For it being a luminous foundation, it does not feel luminous. Looks a little dry. A little closer. It looks pretty matte, right? Like, that's not very luminous. I wonder if, like, maybe different primer. Definitely a different concealer next time. I don't think the concealer is helping the situation. But let's continue. Let's do... I mentioned this in another video, but newer to my collection um, is the... NYX Wonderstick in the shade Fair. I think it's a fantastic contour when you're thinking of contour being cool toned. Um, and again, not that I need makeup, but I had finished the um, e.l.f. Putty Primer. So I was on in the market for another cream bronzer, and even in terms of bronzers, I only have like two or three of them that are like powder bronzers. Um, one of them is almost almost gone, and by almost gone, I mean it'll probably be another four or five months before it's completely panned, because it feels like it's taking forever to pan, um, and it's one of the Milani ones. Um, and then I have a NYX one that... I like, and I don't use enough because I'm trying to finish the Milani one. Anyway, this was a necessary buy. I needed another cream contour because I enjoy a cream contour. I feel like it definitely works better when I layer contour and bronzer. And even with my blushes, I usually I will go in with a cream blush. I'm not sure which one. Already looking better with some dimension. And then this is a very cool tone. Oh, I don't have any cool toned cream blushes. This is not a luminous look. I think it's the I think it's the foundation. The the concealer. I think the concealer really like did a number on me. So we're gonna go in with some Charlotte Tilbury. We'll just do a a, a powder blush because I don't have any cool toned cream blushes. We're gonna go in with some Charlotte Tilbury. Flawless filter. Add some shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Here's that Milani bronzer. I wonder if this um, Anastasia one. If it's meant to be full coverage, this kind of feels full coverage. I wonder how it would look with a sponge. I haven't used a sponge in a while. Maybe, maybe that aids in the dewiness. I only have one cool tone blush, and it is this one right there, which I've hit pan in because it's my only cool tone blush. <laughs> together. Okay, I don't hate this at all. I think it looks very pretty. Everything's layering very nicely on it. I like it. Let's finish up the eyes. I'm gonna do my waterline and then smudge it out. It's not have to be perfect, but I'm not even getting my waterline. It's closer. Oh yeah, we going grungy. I'm going to take, to mix it up a little bit and just to use a few more shades in here, I'm going to use this color called You Love It, and it's a, a very nice like slate gray. I'm going to use that to smudge out the bottom, and then maybe add that shimmer black. That's not a shimmer. I'm 
go into the, the zero F's to help blend this out a little bit. Between the Michaela palettes and now this palette, Sephora going out of business and JCPenney. I have spent a lot of money in the past literally like month. And I'm not gonna say I'm gonna go on a no buy because I feel like that just sets me up to fail. But I really am gonna try Let's just work through what I have. I'm getting ready to do my empties video soon and that always encourages me to see what I have used and I actually haven't done an empties video in, a, in quite a while so there's gonna be, it's gonna be a big one. There's a lot in my bag and it's gonna make me feel really good and very, really accomplished like this is what you do when you don't buy makeup. You use it. You use it and it becomes an empty and you feel better. Um, the problem that I have is that my empties are empties which are great but I still have so much that it just, it, there's not really a dent. So I just need to focus on using what I have, panning it like that. Uh -oh. It's just hard. It's my coping mechanism. I enjoy makeup. It's my coping mechanism. It's my hobby. It's too much of, it's too much of everything for me. Um, I, I like makeup. I enjoy it. It makes me feel good. So when I feel sad, having new makeup makes me feel good. Um, I don't feel it as often now, but I remember, especially when I first started my Instagram and everything, I felt very compelled to have that new, have new new all the time. Um, try, you know, have new products have new foundations, have new palettes, have the newest from ColourPop. Um, thankfully it was before they were launching every week. Um, but I just wanted to stay relevant. I wanted to stay current. And now, the way Instagram runs, my engagement is so low and, and numbers aren't anything. I don't, I don't care about any of that. I think it's funny how I went from having a few hundred, like not even a few hundred, a hundred and something likes on my pictures and and com and you know a good handful of comments to going to like 30 likes maybe 50 80 if i'm lucky um but it doesn't mean anything to me i'm not uh you know i wish i had more likes i wish i had more comments i just enjoy it i enjoy it the people that do interact with me and engage with me are my friends so it i feel like ha 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 serves you right instagram you're not getting me i don't freaking care um, but back in the day, back in the day, I cared a lot more, I cared about growing. Um, and so I had a lot and I, when I moved here to Texas, I kind of shut that down, but you know, old habits die hard. I just like, I just like buying makeup. I'm trying to go in. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Oh, there we go. I can't open that with just my pinky. So we're going to go, of course, we're going to make a wing. Eyeliner is so good. So good. That's such a good wing. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't say that until I do the other one. Let's hope I can do it again. Can't rave. And it's not my wing that did good. It's not me that made the wing good. It's the eyeliner. I like this look. I like this look a lot. Um, I actually feel like I don't want to use the lips that I have. I'm going to do one of them, but then I might change it to a different lippy. Um, we'll see. We'll see how the first one goes. Um, while my liner dries, I'm going to run this through my brows. This is the uh, Revolution, Makeup Revolution brow gel. As things have kind of set and settled, I think it's very pretty. Um, it does look kind of heavy though. It looks a little cakey. That's why I wondered if this was a full coverage foundation. It is not luminous. This is not a luminous foundation. Maybe it'll wear very well that way and like my natural oils will come through. Time will tell for that. 
I would not call this a luminous foundation. I do feel like I used a lot of concealer in the wrong shade. and Maybe that contributed to it. I don't think it's luminous. It's very pretty though. I feel like this is a very pretty look. We're almost done. I just did brows. Let's go ahead and throw on some mascara. Yeah, this is a cool look. And by cool, I just mean like the colors of it. Like it's nothing innovative. It's a it's a look that I do all the time in terms of um, nothing groundbreaking in technique or nothing. But it looks heavy. It looks heavy on me. Kind of drying. I think before I do mascara. throw this uh, hydrating setting spray on. Maybe that'll help. And that looks so cakey. Let's see. Fun, fun tip. I think I've said this before. You do your setting spray before your mascara and it'll help your mascara not smudge as quickly. Mine always smudges. It doesn't really matter but um, the longevity of it will be a little bit better if you do your setting spray first and then mascara. So then you're not getting it wet and so it won't transfer, won't be soft, won't flake. Okay, while that dries before I do mascara, I'm gonna go grab that lipstick that I was thinking of. And I think the lip liner that I want is right here. It's a little. And, uh, what's it called? Sharp that. You're back. Okay. Right. I think the setting spray helped a little. I think it added a little bit of luminosity to my face. I don't know. I am I am very much digging this look though. Uh, mascara. We're gonna go up with the size up from Sephora, which I like. I already know I like. I feel like it is very volumizing, which is what I like in a mascara, and it builds up nicely. I just realized I haven't put on highlighter. Maybe that'll help a little bit too. Uh, for highlighter, I'm going to go in with Becca Opal. I feel like that's a good rock star highlighter right now. There was some good, like, still luminosity from the flawless filter. So if I find, using a different uh, concealer, that it still is just not luminous, um, then I think maybe putting the sh flawless filter on my whole face, and not just the high points, might be a good solution. I mean, I will still wear highlighter, because I want to see my highlighter from space, that'll never change. I'm gonna throw on just a few freckles. I'm gonna put a little bit of this, where is it? Elf finishing powder. Because it's right in front of me. Hit pan in it. Although this was like three dollars, and I feel like there's like, like truly the smallest amount of product in here. It took like uh two weeks to reach pan in that, so it was three dollars. So I feel like the vampy lip is the way to go. What I don't like about this is it's a little patchy. And I don't know if that has to do with like my lip prep and I'm not hydrate, my lips aren't hydrated enough or whatever, but um, I also feel like this is gonna be too much. Is there such a thing? See what I mean? It's a little patchy. And I could leave it like that, that's nice. And this is actually a really nice formula, but I'm gonna build it up a little bit more and make it a little bit deeper. Blackened plum is a very good description of this. Blackberry. The other one that I was going to do would be um, 
this nice brown lip liner, this little one, or this little one, or my Il Maquillage X Carly Bible, which I'll be devastated when this is gone because I love it so much. I should try to find a dupe for it. I don't know if there was a name for it. Waterproof lip liner in Bible, okay. Um, and this uh, NYX lingerie push-up, which is a, this is a dupe for my Carly Bible X Il Maquillage lipstick um, in Libra, which I love. And it's like one of my all-time favorite, especially like that kind of grungy, cool-toned grungy lipstick. Um, so this is a dupe for that. I love it. This is a corset. Yeah. But this is the look. I love the look. I think it looks dope. I like the way I look. Uh, could I have gone smokier? Absolutely. Um, might I? I might. But first impressions of this, I like it. I like it. I don't think it's going to be a one trick pony. I think there's some unique combinations in here that you'll be able to do. Um, but it's also kind of just a neutral palette. Um, like there's nothing shocking and amazing about this. I do like the color story. I like how it's laid out. We know I'm a palette person. That's what I'm drawn to. Um, but I also feel if you have any of their singles, if you have multiple of their palettes, you could probably easily recreate this kind of palette um, with palettes you already have, singles you might have, all ColourPop, mind you. Outside of ColourPop, probably still, absolutely, you would be able to recreate um, this kind of look um, and this color story. I just, I like what I like and I couldn't help myself. I really, really like how this look turned out. Um, I like the mascara. I think I would absolutely repurchase this mascara. I'm anxious to see what it looks like as it dries out. This foundation, I'm on the fence. Again, it was 50% off. I'm not mad about like, oh, I paid full price, whatever. I'm just, I feel like uh, it's not luminous. This is not a luminous foundation. I will try it again um, with a different concealer and maybe a more hydrating primer and see how that goes. I think it's a good shade match after all. Once everything came together, I don't feel like it's too light. Um, especially when I'm not looking in the monitor, when I'm looking in a regular mirror, I think it looks great. I think it looks just fine. So, those are my first impressions. I can't think of any, oh, this was newer to my collection. I love it. What else was new? Anything? Anything? I think that was everything. So yeah, thanks for joining. This is my look, my cool tone grungy look. Um, I love it. I love it so much. I hope you love it too. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, leave me a message, follow me, follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.